Hey, what's up everybody? This is Wade from Unparalleled Universe. I just wanted to let you know about the Kickstarter that I've launched for the first ever 112 scale Odious figure. Odious is a character that I've created and I'm trying to make a figure of him via Kickstarter. So be sure to check that out. Odious 112 scale action figure on Kickstarter. Thank you very much. Peace. Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number 73 in the line. Here we have Edward Torpedo Leia Aloha, and this is my most anticipated figure of all of 2023, and I will tell you right now, this figure does not disappoint. This is the coolest action figure and will be my top figure of the year for 2023, hands down, no questions. It is that good of a figure. The accessories are awesome. He has a really cool look. It is just a really damn good action figure. <clears throat> so I'm really excited to review it for you guys and to show you guys. So I actually got mine from ToySnowman.com. Uh, they're based in Canada. Last I saw, they were still in stock. It's like $29 um, US because remember the, the, um, the Canadian conversion and everything and figures are a little bit more expensive in Canada, but la still in stock. So link in the video description below. I also have my referral link, which gets you a 5% off coupon code and your frost reward for first time buyers. So make sure to check it out, toysnomad.com. Uh, but man, what an awesome figure. It's pretty much sold out everywhere as far as pre-orders in the US. Hasn't released anywhere. So yeah, if, in stock at toysnomad.com. But such an awesome figure. I, I'm just, I, I can't, it is so good. We're going to talk about it. Uh, the package. I love the redesign of the packaging. It's just really, really cool. The darker colors and everything. Um, it, it's just awesome. You got here, it's embossed. So G.I. Joe Classified Series. Uh, the artwork of Torpedo there on the side. Uh, we didn't get it in color on the inside here, but we get to get that in black and white on the inside tray that the figure comes in. Look at all of the accessories that he comes with. It's just crazy. Uh, we do get a QR code here, which interestingly enough takes you to some shop has shop.hasbro website that doesn't even work so i don't know what the point of the qr code is um but there is the box of torpedo so we'll get that out of the way uh we have the foot locker here and just like um the arctic bat if that's the handle to the foot locker well i guess a foot locker the handle would be this way i guess that could make sense torpedo then would be I don't know. It just seems kind of odd to me, but um, I already took the accessories out of the bag, um, and the accessories are all on the figure. Everything. So, um, we have his uh, rifle there. We got the knife sheath. His scuba mask is on. We got the torpedo, uh, the spear gun, I mean, um, and then he's got his um, his flippers on his uh, on, on his feet. Um, so, everything, everything is on him, and it is just the most beautiful figure ever. Chef's kiss. Mwah! So let's get in for a closer look. Okay, so here is the up close look, look at Torpedo. God, what 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 a beautiful piece of plastic. It is just so so damn good. Man, I just I can't get over it. Um so anyway, the accessories. He's loaded with accessories. So we'll actually take a look. So we have the t the spear gun here, which is cool cuz it has the yellow rope that would go over his hand so he, you know, as he's in the water, he could just let it go and it'll always st stay with him um on his uh, on his wrist there. Um not a whole lot going on for the spear gun there, but we do get a silver for the spear itself and then you can kind of see the rope that would attach as it shoots out and then he can reel back in whatever. So that is done really nice there. We have the rifle that he comes with here. Um, it does have the uh, peg hole there for any kind of blast effects um, or the um, the muzzle effects. Uh, he doesn't come with any, but if you have some from other figures like the Cobra Vipers and stuff like that, you can do that. It does have the removable uh, ammo magazine, uh, so that is really nice. So if you know you need to show him uh, reloading or whatever, you can do that. It just slips in there and then it can come out easily. It's just all done in black but that looks good there. Uh, sheath on his right leg. It's a little loose, so you just have to push the, the kind of that strap down. It'll stay a little bit better on his leg there, but uh, the knife does sheath. Uh, it's black blade. It's a very thick blade, though. A um, little bit of serrated edge there, um, and then the handle is just done in a red color there. Um, we do get the, uh, the swim fins there for his feet. 
and those look pretty good, just black and red, nice sculpt to them, nice and rubbery, so you can, um, you know, do some swimming stuff with them, and they just fit over his feet so nice and easily, and they're even clearly marked. You see that L in there? The other one has an R for his right foot, so we know which one it goes on. So those fins there. And then he has this backpack piece, as you can see there, and then the mask portion plugs into it. So that one kind of came loose a little bit. Um, it plugs in there nicely. I don't know why this one got loose. Doesn't want to plug in as much, uh, but does plug in. I don't know, for some reason that one, I got to force that one a little bit. Um, I don't know if this is exactly how this was designed, by the way, but you can kind of store the weapon um, in there. I, I tried to do that with the spear gun. The spear gun doesn't really hold, so I, I figured it's got to be that. It's not the the strongest fit, um, and any little bump can kind of knock it down, although it seems to be pretty sturdy on there now, of course. Um, so just a heads up on that, that's kind of how I did that. But the backpack piece, as you can see, um, again, this just ports in. You can unplug that, and then you can remove the mask and reveal his face. And his face looks really good. You can see the wetsuit, so it kind of covers up most of it. But, yeah, the digital print on his face looks really good. The skin tone is nice. Uh, the lip color looks really good. Just all around awesome. And here's the scuba mask. A little bit of red paint on there. The goggles are kind of grayed out there. But, yeah, that is done really nice. And then the backpack, of course, it just pegs on into his back like so. But so many accessories. So awesome. But looking at the figure, just really, really good. Man, we get some pouches and some things, some red paint there, a little bit of red on the belt there. Um, I don't know what it's called for the leg, right? This would be like almost like a pauldron on a shoulder or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what it is for the leg, but you get some additional pouches and storage and stuff going on in there. Here we have what looks like to be kind of a radar type of thing. I don't know if it uses sonar or how that works, but there on his right wrist, and that looks really good. And then it's just a black and gray sweatsuit uh, wetsuit, excuse me, not sweatsuit, wetsuit all the way across, and it's just really nice. All the pinless goodness that we have in here. Um, the, mo the most minor, 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 minor of gripes would be in some of the areas where the black and the gray meet, where it looks like it's a little bit of gray overspray. Super minor, I don't even care, uh, but just a heads up on that. And then hidden in there is that ankle swivel and everything. But man, what an awesome looking figure super excited but let's go ahead and talk about the articulation because it's all the articulation you could ever ever want okay so torpedo can look up that much so if he's swimming he can look straight on out which is good he can look down that much there so not terrible um, the head, you can do a full swivel, of course. The, the neck itself is on its own point of articulation, so you can get some pivot and stuff going on um, in there. Then this, the neck does swivel itself inside of that torso, um, but you kind of have to grab the neck to be able to do that, but you can do that. And the shoulder, you can get the arm to go straight on out like so. Full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint, and I will admit, though, not as much range of motion going back as you would really hope. And then coming forward isn't going to be a whole lot either as these the bandolier gets in the way a bit. So crossbody wise, it isn't as much as we would hope as well, unfortunately. There's another little gripe. Uh, upper bicep swivel in there. Double jointed pinless elbow gives you that much bend there at the elbow. It is beautiful. Wrist swivel. Uh, the, the, right, the left hand is a trigger finger holding hand, so you do get the vertical hinge on this guy, which is perfect for wielding weapons. Uh, the other hand, same thing. Uh, vertical hinge. We only get the one set of hands. Of, unfortunately, for a swimmer, it would have been nice to get some um, hands that are just kind of straight out, as you, you know, could be kind of, um, you know, paddling through the water. I think that would have been a, a nice touch. Unfortunately, we do not get that. Uh, ab crunch on torpedo is very nice, so we can crunch forward that much. He can go back that much, which is really good. Keeps the nice uh, sculpt and nice curve. Uh, there to it. You have the waist swivel in there and you do get the ball joint waist so he could tilt to his left a little bit. Oh, drop down hit. Only a little bit, but you can do a little bit of the tilting. Tilt to the right a little bit as you could see there. Let me try and get that left to go a little bit more. Yeah, see there we go on the left. And then you can actually get him to lean back a little bit, lean forward a little bit as well in there. 
Uh, legs go out that far apart, which is great. You do have the drop down hips, as you can see. So there is the hips drop down, back in place, drop down. There is an upper thigh cut in there, hidden with these straps and everything there. Ooh, look at that. I didn't notice that before. A little bit, see, that's right where the gray and the black meets. Um, so there's another little gripe there, but that kind of gets covered up a little bit. Not really. I just noticed that, but yeah, not terrible. But anyway, upper thigh cut in there, double jointed pinless knee. Nice bend there at the knee. Uh, the swivel is just above the ankle in there. Foot hinges all the way down, a little bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, pickles at the bottom of the feet. So all the points of articulation that you want. The only thing a little lacking is the butterfly joint, getting it to move forward and then um, getting it to go really far back. Uh, but other than that, solid articulation. Okay, so for some side-by-side -side comparisons, I didn't want to bring out a bunch of different uh, Joe figures, but I don't know that the Arctic Bat and um, Torpedo will ever really meet. And, you know, we don't have any... Um, any water army builders yet there is the upcoming amazon exclusive eel which terrible move by hasbro why would you make it an awesome army builder as an amazon exclusive or any store exclusive for that matter so that is a little unfortunate so i know it sold out extremely fast on hasbro pulse sold out really quick on amazon came back in stock again on amazon and sold out again um, I do know and have heard that there will be additional quantities available when it's time for those eels to ship. So just a heads up on that. So we'll go ahead and get the Arctic Bat out of the way and we'll put in a Cobra Trooper, which at one time was also one of my most, uh, was one of my favorite action figures for that particular year. I don't, what was it, 2020? Um, just such a good, such a good action figure line, the G.I. Joe Classified Series. So as I begin to open more and more of them and review them, because I have so many that I just haven't had time to open, um, really getting back into the fun of it and really excited for it. Um, and this, the, my love for this figure, this torpedo figure is just really skyrocketing. And I want to go through like every G.I. Joe figure I have. Um, the next review is actually going to be the Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor uh, Drone figure. I also got that from ToySnowman.com, so make sure to check the video description below for the links and see if Torpedo and Scrap Iron are still in stock. Because again, last I checked, Torpedo was in stock. Must pick up, must buy such an awesome figure. Okay, so having the figure, putting, just, yeah, putting everything together on this figure, if I had, like, a different background, you know, some people can do some amazing things. They use, like, glass and stuff to actually show them, um, you know, swimming, you know, and you could do, like, wires and then kind of edit, edit them out and stuff. But, man, people will be able to do some really awesome things. I love the fins um, for his feet. I forgot to mention that there is the peg holes. Um, on the fin so you can actually get those peg holes to line up so you can keep the fins on there and use you know um, maybe different stands or something to help get him um, in there but man just such an awesome figure I'm ready to go take a bath and get this figure action figure in there like when I was you know five years old but what what an awesome figure I can't yeah, it's 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 hard to explain just how good this figure is from an aesthetic standpoint It just looks really good the wetsuit the gray and black wetsuit looks awesome And then when you get the figure and you move him around and all the cool things like the radar on his wrist The scuba mask the fins the knife the 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 spear gun. It's just When you all piece it together, it just looks so awesome So when the Cobra eels come out, it's gonna be nice to actually have some one-on-one -on -one against um, torpedo whereas right now you know underwater he would just kind of do underwater missions um, and you don't have anybody to him for him to fight on land you know obviously of course you know we got vipers we got cobra troopers and all that um, but yeah when we get those cobra eels it's going to be crazy because that's when it's really going to get fun um, and awesome so I just think this is probably uh, easily not probably easily my favorite G.I. Joe classified series figure ever um, and I'm just so excited. It does, does not disappoint. My expectations were extremely high for this figure as it was my most anticipated um, figure all year. Um, and again, I am very pleased with the way it came out. So you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this torpedo figure? Is this one that you're absolutely going to get? Or for some weird reason, did you pass on it? 
Maybe I, I changed your mind. Hopefully I did because this figure is just too damn nice, too damn awesome to pass up. Really, really cool. So you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this figure. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you back Odious on Kickstarter now. Link in the video description below.